Governor Branstad has made it clear to critics in recent years that he's concerned about the revenues from agriculture, and that's why he's been conservative with funding for schools and the state budget in general. If the ag outlook for this year is any indication, the future holds more fights over funding. Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill joins us live with the story. Matt? Yes, Scott, nearly one out of five Iowans now works in the ag industry doing everything from making ethanol to making and selling equipment like we see here. And from those that we talked to today at the WMT Ag Expo, 2016 could be a challenging year for Iowa. You could find it all from the latest in ag equipment. From the low back all the way up to the top of the neck. To staying healthy amid the heavy lifting. But the focus for farmers always comes back to finances. I believe as agriculture goes, the state of Iowa goes. Steve Bohr helps farm families build and preserve wealth. He says after profitable years, the state's industry is in for a reality check. Some have spent that income and some have invested that income and some have saved that income. Well, we're getting ready to give it back. You know, it's a little bit like we're at the gambling table, and when you win a little bit, you better put some in your pocket. Farmers are scared. They don't know where the market is going yet. At Stutzman's, where growers come for spraying parts and services, they know another record crop could send corn prices tumbling. This will give farmers a chance to set back, step back and look at it and see where they're going to be and decide where their operation needs to be in two or three or four years. Oh, everybody's been kind of predicting this for the last several years. And even during a down year, the governor is looking at farm practices to improve water quality that could impact the bottom line. We need legislation and we need, we need laws, but we also need to make sure that we're an agricultural state and we have to make sure we don't you know, kill the golden goose, if you will. A lot could happen weather-wise and export-wise between now and the time that the ag equipment hits the fields again. But some of those at the expo today told us they're concerned about a time that we could see $3 corn if we continue to see record crops. They say compare that to $7 a bushel corn that we saw just four years ago, and you understand the problem. Matt Hamill, Fox 28 News.